Hello everyone, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold and welcome to Vegas Vibes. On Vegas Vibes, I'll be featuring amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. As a host, what more could be exciting than talking about things or topics that is very close to my heart or I have lived through. And on that note, I have here with me the beautiful ladies from the Miss Asia North America beauty pageant. Starting off with Miss Asia North America teen, 2017-2018, Miss Angela Zhang. Hello, how Hi, are you? Hi, good, how are you? Fine, thank you. And of course, we have the two delegates from Miss Asia North America, Josephine Lam and Janie Lam. How Hello. are you ladies? Good, how are you? are you? Thank you for being here on Vegas Vibes. Well, let's start with Miss Angela. How did Miss Asia North America change you? What values have you gleaned from the experience? Uh, Miss Asia North America pageant has actually taught me a lot. I've learned how to communicate better with people and also how to make yourself more presentable on a day-to-day -day basis. So we also learned a lot about like walking, something that you wouldn't probably think about is a really big deal. But because of this pageant, I was also able to go experience with modeling. So from modeling with the catwalk and pageant catwalks to the daily life, it gives you a lot of more confidence to express your feelings. Tell us what's the best part about your reign. I think um, one of my most favorite moments was actually when I volunteered at a toy drive at an elementary school for students. Um, I was wearing my crown and then you know for young girls when they see girls with crowns they remember princess and everything so it was like making their dreams come true in, fr in front of them and they would look at you with full of amazement and be like wow she's like a princess so I really really loved that experience. That's amazing. Let's talk about these two beautiful ladies that are co competing or vying for the title of uh, what category are you? Uh, the teen category. The teen category. Yes. And you are vying for uh, the category Ms. of? Right? Just MS. MS. Yes. Yeah. So what motivated you to join the, this competition? Is this your first competition? Um, this is my, it would be my second. I did a different pageant which was kind of smaller. Um, I went into doing this pageant thinking I was just going to you know, have a fun experience. I didn't really think deeper into it until I recently volunteered at a youth homeless shelter. And I talked to one of the kids and she was telling me about, like she was passionate about dancing. And so I kind of told her some things that I'm passionate about. And I told her that I love cooking and that I've been on Master Chef on, and, and I asked her like, do you see yourself doing something more with dancing than just a hobby? And so by the end of our conversation, she was super inspired and I left there feeling like amazing because I inspired this young person to do more than, like to dream bigger than what she originally thought that she could do with dancing. So yes. that's the reason why I, do, like, I decided to run for Miss Asian North America. That's awesome. How about you, uh, Jocelyn? What's your story? So I personally really, really loved um, volunteering as well as helping people. But due to like some family conflicts of not being able to get there myself, a lot of times I wouldn't be able to participate in these things. So I'm hoping through this pageant, I was able to meet more people as well as help more people. Um, I feel like another thing with this pageant, the re another reason why I joined it was because I used to be in China Chinese dance, so I really loved how we incorporated the culture into it, and I really loved how we got to meet new people who also had the same passion as well as other things. So I really wanted to expand my horizon in meeting new people who are also as enthusiastic about my culture as they are. I would like to know what's your opinion about today's, I mean, what's the importance of the beauty pageant in today's world? Mm, I think for the most important thing as of right now is to learn to self-express. So I feel that as of right now, a lot of people, even though um, I feel like inside of them, they have a lot to say, but they're afraid of saying it. And I feel like with this pageant, it gives them a chance to learn to gain more confidence into learning how to express their views onto the world. And I feel like beauty patterns are much more than beauty itself. I feel like it's also expressing your internal beauty as well as your external beauty, which for me that means like 
whether you want to show it through kindness, whether you want to show it through helping people, like I feel like that's very important through the pageant because it has so much influence and you can do so much with your title. What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, I feel like pageants, aside from the beauty aspect of it, it's just empowering women and empowering other women of like all generations, you know, um, especially the younger generation. Like, there's a lot of girls out there who are, you know, insecure, unsure, and go through many, many things. And so it's kind of our job to have them express, like, and just be free and just do what they want to do. It, like, it's just, I guess, how do I, how do I explain it? Um, it's just for us to inspire them and motivate them to do more and to be more and to dream big. It's wonderful. Let's talk about the upcoming uh, Miss Asia North America. When, where and when is it going to be held? It's going to be held on the week of July 10th. It lasts for the whole entire week and ends on July 14th. And so the actual event of it will be on July 13th to 14th at UNLV, our Miss Ham Hall. And you have voting online. How can our viewers vote for their favorite delegates? Um, you can vote online, I believe, on Miss Asian North America dot org dot yes. org, and then I think you just go and click on your uh, contestants. Yeah, or there's so a contestant picture and their name, and then you select that way, and then whoever gets the most vote ends up winning. Yeah. That's great. Winning that category. Yep. Yeah, not yeah. The whole yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Social yeah. media. Yeah. <laughs> How are you preparing now that it's getting near? Um, uh, preparing wise, I feel like I'm unprepared to be honest. But then again, I think I'm just really hard on myself, so I don't know. But it's like, it's getting so much closer that I feel like a lot, the nerves are starting to kick in and all that stuff. So, so let's talk more about Miss Asia North America. What can they expect in this uh, upcoming pageant? I think you can expect some really cool cultural outfits. Oh, yes. That's what something, are you representing? That's You're something I'm super Cambodia, looking forward to. Right? Yes, I'm representing Cambodia. So I'm excited about that. Um, representing China. China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course our Miss I was representing team. China. <laughs> yes, China as well. Well, please invite all our global viewers and especially our Las Vegas viewers to please watch or attend our uh, Miss Asian North America beauty pageant. To everybody who is interested in watching an Asian pageant with all these wonderful and confident ladies, please come down to Artemis Ham Hall at UNLV on July 14th. And you can purchase tickets either through online or through one of our beautiful ladies or as well as through Facebook and any other social medias. You can probably find it on our website, MissAsianNorthAmerica.org. And I believe it starts at 5.30. We didn't mention that, did we? Yeah, no? 5.30 Yeah, 5.30. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. You look wonderful. Thank Angela, you, as thank always. You. And, of course, congratulations. Now, you know, just by entering it, you're already a winner because you are setting a good example to all the Asian American women's, uh, women out there. So, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Hello, I'm Josephine Lam. I will be representing China. Please don't forget to vote for me. And my name is Janie Lam, and I'm representing Cambodia. Don't forget to vote for me. It's been a pleasure to be here. Once again, I am Angela Zhang, Miss Teen Asian, and I also won Miss Talent, as well as Miss People's Choice. All of us here, we would like to thank our director, Annie. She has been very supportive for everyone. Also, when I first went into this pageant, I wasn't really sure what to expect. But Annie was really good guidance, and she also helped me through a lot of things. She also told me to compete in Miss Chinatown USA, which I had a lot of really good experiences from. So once again, we would like to give a shout out to our director, Annie. We love you, Annie! Thank you everyone, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Catch me again next time as I feature more interesting personalities here on Vegas Vibes. I would like to thank Anne Fontaine, located at the Forum Shops inside Caesars Palace. A big shout out to my good friend, Miss Anna Billings. Take care everyone.